and I'm back once again. This is Jolly Roger here, and I am joined by um, Bam. Bam? No, 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 Bam. Oh, okay. Uh, G, what's up? But no, G's not here either. Uh, Grit, what's going on, brah? Uh, yeah, Grit's not here either. Um, Draconis, what's up, bro? My PC brethren. Yeah, he's not here yet either. Okay, I guess he'll he'll he'll. Draconis will he'll be here in a month or two. I don't know the exact launch for PC of Destiny 2, but uh, like he'll he'll be here th when that happens. I'm not gonna wait around for him. So I figured I'd go ahead and get this out of the way because I am actually have a PS4. I've actually got two PS4s. I got a PS4 Pro and a standard PS4, and I've got the PC. And I'm kind of thinking I may have should have I may have should have bought. I might have been better off buying Destiny 2 on the PC, even though I would have been waiting a couple months since the initial launch. At least I wouldn't have capped FPS, like, the frames are indeed capped on console all around. Capped at 30 frames, I want to say, which kind of sucks, because, I mean, you, you buy a PlayStation Pro for another like 399 so you kind of expect you'd have a better quality than the standard ps4 which isn't the case because uh it um, looks like the ps4 is holding back the pro which sucks even more annoying get this i can't actually play destiny 2 on my playstation 4 pro i went through the ordeal of uh buying another year's playstation plus which is i want to say 59.99 for a year which is better than buying it by the month or by the three month periods, like the bundle thing. So yeah, fifty nine ninety nine for the PlayStation Network, one year. I've got the Pro, which was three hundred ninety nine, I think, at the time, and I bought it day one. So add those two up, and then I uh, I got the digital deluxe edition. I don't know, it cost the most, whichever one that was. It was like ninety nine dollars. So add that into the in the kitty and. Um, Start the game up, start playing. I'm like, all right, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. Bam! Hit with a fro like a freeze. Blue screen, error code. Same error code every time it happens. So I've been very familiar with error code S, not S, uh, C E thirty four eighty seven eight zero. I've gotten really familiar with this error code, which is like a connection error code apparently. And it's it's not an isolated incident. I'm not the only one who got it. A lot of people with the pros. The pros specifically. The higher cost console specifically is the one that got this error code. Supposedly it has happened on numerous other games in the past. Um, I want to say the Tomb Raider demo was known to have this issue for pro individuals. But yeah, the, 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 it won't actually let you finish the game. Like, you can't get past the first level. So, yeah. Talk to customer service multiple times. Two different individuals. I can't pronounce the names that they gave me. Uh, that's not being, like, typical American. That's just, I don't know what the crap their name was. And it's kind of hard to be like, hey, how do you say your name on text chat? Because that's all I got. I never actually called PlayStation because I kind of figured the same thing would be said there. Talk to them on Twitter. So I, I was like, oh man, I'm not going to be able to play this game because uh, I'm just error coded every time. Then I had the bright idea of uh, just trying on my standard PlayStation. Maybe, maybe it works there. Download the demo, or not the demo, download the game on the, the standard PlayStation. Works perfectly fine. So yeah, uh, $3.99, $59.99, and $99. And uh, apparently, if you add all that up, it equals... CE 348780. So, I mean, that's not just standard American math. That's math all over the world because it's not a standard issue. Which I'm not the worst off in this ordeal. Like, there are Destiny 2 PlayStation 4 bundles, PlayStation 4 Pro bundles specifically, that are getting the same issue. So, they bought a specific bundle. It may be painted. I don't know if the console is actually painted or not, but yeah, they buy a specific bundle. They can't play the specific game they got with the bundle on the game on the system. <laughs> so yeah, I the more I thought about it, the more I was like, man, I probably should have bought this on a PC. But I did try it on my PlayStation, my regular PlayStation, and uh, it plays pretty well. Um, 
I don't understand how a game who could sell so well could have uh, that many error codes, though. Not the the CE thirty four eighty seven eight zero error. I mean, like the animal specific error codes that Bun that Bungie decides to put into the game. I don't know how many times I've seen an uh, what was the name baboon? Like, why why you gotta name it baboon? Like, I like baboons. Like monkeys are nice. Why, why you got an error code, Baboon? But yeah, I had that error code a good bit. Uh, I've been playing with numerous people, and uh, a couple times, one of the individuals had a error code, had to relaunch the game, and then they couldn't get into the game. There's a queue. This is America, man. We don't do queues. How are you going to have a queue to get into a game? I say this because uh, it isn't like they're really hurting for money. Like, this game has just announced, Bungie specifically just announced that Destiny 2 had 1.2 million concurrent players. So what you're so what they're saying is at least 1.2 million people worldwide purchased our game for at least 59.99. A lot of people were like me and probably bought the $99 package or the I think it was a 79 or 89 dollar package. Either way, they paid at least $59 for like an online game, but uh, Bungie didn't actually purchase enough server space to host nearly all the people who purchased their game. At least 1.2 million got in, but I'm pretty sure they sold a lot more than 1.2 million copies of the game. So indeed, they should definitely up the server uh, server space that they have. It's kind of crappy that somebody can spend 60 bucks on a game, attempt to play the game, and um, they're putting a line. I would imagine $100 into a game would put you in the front of that line, if anything else. <laughs> Give me a hot pass, man. I don't know if anybody actually has went to Six Flags, because, uh, yeah, but yeah, hot, hot passes, man. Put me on the front of the line. Like, I want to buy the front of the line. I don't want to be sitting in the queue. America. We don't do queues. We don't even do lines very well, much less a queue. But indeed, um, I have actually got to play the game a good bit on the standard PlayStation 4, because it doesn't work on the Pro, for whatever reason. Stupid error code, man. Stupid, stupid error code. Should have bought it on PC. Should have bought it on PC. I just didn't didn't expect it would do that well on PC. I mean, it seems like a good bit of the games, like the AAA games over there, they multiplier multiplayer wise, they kind of die off. That's mostly because of the developers kind of give up on PC really quick. Like COD is horrible for PC apparently. Like it drops off insanely fast. Battlefield might actually have some people, but yeah, I kind of imagine Bungie wouldn't do PC that great because just the other people in the past have not done it that great. I still want to play it on PC, man, because it's fine on console, but you are capped at 30 frames a second, and supposedly on PC it's uncapped, so oh man, how magical it would be to be playing Destiny 2 at like 140 FPS. And the graphics in the game look good on console, so it's going to look even better on PC. And the controls would be so nice on the keyboard and the mouse. Ah. Anyway, but I did. I bought it on PS4. I've played it. I actually have beat the story. The story only took a couple days. I'm not going to say what happens in the story, but it was pretty quick. But this, the actual main story isn't all there is to Destiny. You've got patrols, and you can just wander around each one of the various planets, killing stuff if you wanted to. You got the raid, which hasn't actually launched. It doesn't launch till like, 13th of September, I want to say. Which, I don't know if I'll actually be able to play it right then, because uh, I do live in Georgia, and there's a hurricane on the way. So, I don't know how well that's going to work on an online game. Because, uh, yeah, if you're not online, you're not playing the game. And I'm pretty sure some strong winds are going to come with a hurricane, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to lose the power. So I won't be playing any games, but say if I don't lose power, say I just lose the internet, I'm still not going to be playing Destiny. <laughs> and we're going to touch back on this game when Draconis gets it, I do believe. Which will be a couple more months, and I may... Oh man, I don't want to say I'm going to buy it again, but... I may end up having to buy it on PC. I just gotta see how the the numbers t 
turn out on there and then who all I know on PC that has the game. But yeah, game's pretty fun. Uh, been playing a little bit of the Crucible, been playing a little bit of the PvE, which the game does indeed have both, player versus player or player versus environment. Raid will come in a couple days, there's already strikes we can try out, which have sounded pretty fun. I am not high enough level myself to actually participate in the strikes, which kind of sucks because it's like, I'm old enough to play, man. Just let me play. But yeah, I'm, like my light level isn't high enough supposedly, so I died really quick. And I don't really know how to end this, so I'm just going to say 